Hello everyone, this is Iris Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our legendary Trom Jensha Let's Play. We continue for episode 10 from turn 55 in the summer season of 201. So, last episode we ended with these sieges. Uh, we're being sieged in multiple places and we also lost a couple of holdings. So, it's time to push them back. And it's not going to be that easy. We'll start here in Shandong. So, not a tough fight. But definitely one we have to get through. And then we probably have to run this army out towards Wang Quan and help out the main fight happening in the north. Uh, and we have Zhang He's army coming down to take, clean up the rest of Zhang Yan's forces in Hedong. And also Yuan Shu, who has appeared on our side of the map. We might peacefully trade for his holding. But depends on if he took the capital or not, because then we wouldn't be able to trade for it, because that would become his capital. Anyhow, we'll worry about that later. That's not really our main concern right now. Don't think we have to do anything too crazy here. Oh, we also get the garrison. Uh, they can stay back. Fresh recruits, not gonna do much. They're marching up, taking their sweet time. I mean, I can go up and start reducing their accuracy. Speaking of accuracy, the trebuchet did not perform very well in the siege battle. Let's see if it does better in the land fight. And also, let's see if we can get some levels so that it can be more accurate. That was a pretty good shot, actually. We killed, what, 45 in that one volley? That's pretty good. And we have the bolts coming in as well. Yeah, the tribute is actually doing pretty well against the units. We'll just let them do their thing. Uh, there's not much we need to do here. We also have good range. Cavalry can come in in the later stages of this fight. We have a fire. We can't pull... Oh, uh, actually, I'll, I'll pull him back so we can get the camera up here. Yeah, not a fun day for these bandits. The tower damage is pretty hefty, it looks like. Crossbow? Oh, they enter the crossbow range. Alright, we'll get ready to light the fire. Cavalry in formations. All 
All right, we can start charging this way now. We'll just collapse on their range units on both flanks. They're kind of standing on top of our wooden spikes, so we don't really want to charge that way. It's over. Probably gonna chase them for a fight, just to um, wipe them out. And I don't think we need to stay put in the settlement for the heal. I think we can keep moving. We'll take the four percent though. Actually, yeah, 4% is good. We're a little poor, but I think it's going to be okay. This will just delegate. We could just execute for the item. Be the same thing. We're going to ignore the pass, and we're just going to go for Wang Kuang right there. Okay, this siege needs to be taken care of. I think we're going to be in reinforcement range. Yep, which is why he ran. Now the problem is, if I move, I lose my mustering bonus, and we're not very healthy. It doesn't look like they have night battle. They do not. They have two bandits. Kind of weird. So we can sort of just defend this like this and let them heal up for a turn, which would be what we want. Um, any of them have siege weapons? They do. So there's a good chance they will be able to take Hene for this very next turn. We... Hmm. I mean, immediately summoning an army here doesn't do us any good. I think we want to summon one, maybe an Anping. We don't have a lot of money, so this is going to be tricky. I think we grab Yanang for now and just have him by himself. We'll use his unique unit, which is really cheap and I would say pretty effective. Those stats are really juiced up. And then we'll just give him two captains next turn as a quick setup to protect Bohai from this attack. They can take care of this, especially with Yuan Shao coming out this way, and we'll have to maybe recover these if that becomes a problem. Meanwhile, I don't have enough money. Right. Hold on. 4,000. We don't have time for that. It's not a very important settlement to hold right now, it's just a fishing port. We can always recruit a general solo to do this later, 
we're going to go down and try to take out Zhang Yan before he gets back up together. Right, so we could trade for this if we take this. That is a possibility. His capital is still here. All right, so I think we're okay. We're not going to spend money on buildings because we can just spend them on armies next turn. Civil War is still not an option, but we're going to look into assassination now. If it's possible, it's next turn. Perhaps we can Civil War after... After we become the faction leader. Alright, we can afford... Minus 10 points. I'll grab one of these. Drop them down. And I'm not going to do anything because we need the points next turn to see if we can get the assassination going. And we don't have any empty buy slots to take a look at to see if we can do anything there. Now aside from peace deals, we can get some cash. If we lose Hlene though, we would actually lose access to our trade because that's our last port. That would be very bad. Because we lost our port here, and uh, if we lose this, that's our only remaining port. That's a good amount of money. Maybe we can get an army out this turn for get now over there. Um, maybe 2,500? Okay. Wishful thinking, but this is still probably enough for us. Yep, to get ourselves a decent army there. We could also rely on one of them to get us out of this war, just by becoming their vassal if it gets really bad, but I... I don't imagine that to be the case. We can use this to get that piece of land later. Anyhow, I'm going to start using our cash. Alright, what can we afford? We have 4,500. We can do a combination of these two. Basically a cavalry group, which we think is really strong. Uh, we have some suicidal frontline charging units. We don't have any range, so I think we will get an archery captain here. And for the cavalry, since they are so charge heavy, I think we might go with the Zen group. It's also cheaper. Frontline with shield. Yeah, let's do that. Right, this way they will be ready faster. Probably gonna have to retake this. And let's see what that Holdun does. We're not moving this because I still want them to heal up. Yeah, we'll be fine. Let's go. So he's retreated. They're sending more over. Tao Tian's armies are the ones that I'm mostly concerned with, even though Liu Bao is the one with the siege weapon. I guess Liu Bao is sending a lot, and then, oh, Liu Dai, and Liu Chong's former faction. He's sailing down, so that's open. So maybe we don't need to muster. Maybe we can just go retake it. We need to keep that trade route open. Ha ha ha! Destroy Yuan Shu. And they want us to do another right. Um, it's a lot of money, but we did our... We did our army build up last turn, so we're fine. We are poor, though. I guess we still need to check for the burn trait in case we have that available. We would want to recruit, and it would just be 10 points of lineage, which would be super cheap. Hmm. This is a tough call because we don't want to lose that. 
I can play March here? This is not traversable. So they can only show up over here, they can't really show up over here, and he can't really stop me. Right, maybe we, we bait him over to attack us, that would be great. We cannot get back to our own land. And honestly, the terrain's just not good. We're going to be dwindling in supplies, but we'll probably bounce back a little by just stepping over here for a few turns. Alright, assassination time? Okay, so... This is the way Tal is going down, I guess. Through family. And then Talon becomes leader, and then we fracture the faction. There's going to be death of a friend. Right, there's going to be a lot of people that's super sad in the faction. I can make Sahodun leave, and then he will leave the army, actually. Yes, we'll do this to him. Actually, I think we already targeted him individually, so I don't think this will stack. Right, because he already has the minus 30 from non-recent event. We'll just have to wait on that, then? Any other general that we can just... I can make her leave... She's not doing any of the plus 10s. Let me see who else is in Sahodun's army. We can weaken this group in different ways if it's not Sahodun. Ah, wait, sure. We're going to keep him because he's applying one of the minus 10s. But this young lady here can go home. Perfect. Right, they don't need to stay put. We can rush here as soon as we can. It looks like we have enough movement, so I'm not going to put them on march or anything like that. We have no access to that siege, nor do we really care about that siege. We care about this. This looks really messy, though. I can be inside of it to stop, but there's going to be... Looks like Nobel takes his turn first, so he can set up the siege and start the fight, and then he can draw in a bunch of reinforcements. So this could be a suicide run if I run Zhao Yun over. So maybe it's better to look and lose it, and then retake it with both of these army. But what about this group? Hmm... I think we're going to just stick together no matter what. That's the key. We're going to give them some important upgrades. Like offensive ambush. Mm, for the frontline units, I mean, guerrilla deployment's not bad, but... Yeah, this is not important right now. We now have enough points. Wait, we have enough points. Why can't I get this upgrade? Because we're on March? Because we're... I, I can't apply it when we're on March? I never knew that was a thing. Oh no, it was just bugged out. Okay. There we go. This way it should help, yep, combat that supply loss. Alright, so we should be able to retake that. We're going to stick together. We're going to try to knock out this group just with the unhappiness. And then take this back. And then if we lose this, we'll go fight for it again. We should be able to take that. We might lose our trade deal temporarily, but we should be able to recover this. And that should fix everything. Ah, this is currently a Ministrator. He does not have good Administrator traits. But I guess the Burn trait is good enough. We have an opening. It's, it's saved for Hodong for now. We have really high because we've been going to banquets, we've been paying for the civil rights, we're getting all sorts of bonuses, but... No amount of relationship boost is going to stop these wars. Talon's ready the leader. 
We're gonna split that faction up. Ooh, can we talk them out of it? Because they have two armies nearby, and i rather not fight them. We can honestly hand out some of these stuff. Like, we have no interest in using these. Oh, yeah. And then a little bit of food. Like, one point of food, and the rest we probably have to promise in cash. Like, promise of cash as well. Let's see how expensive it gets. Not that expensive, to be honest. Hmm. Oh, this is even positive. Okay, okay. I'm not going to push it. It's a uh, 65. 66. Come on, give us that minimum. There we go. That's not a bad deal. We basically eliminate one of the enemy that we have to deal with. Wait, did it just go up? Oh, oh, feels bad giving this extra point. Oh well, uh, maybe we can get the... No, we can't, can't combine that. That's fine, we'll give him one extra. Yeah, I think we get out of this. Just to not deal with those two stacks. Liu Bell, Tao Tian, Cao Cao are the big concerns. Koron's played close second. We're going to take this chance to wipe him out first, though. So this, this war is necessary. It's fine. Okay. Right, this way we don't have to worry about this stack here. This small group here. They didn't have anything here, but it's mainly this one doesn't cross over. Let's continue. Jaholdun ran. Disappeared, which probably means he either got recalled or he's ambushing somewhere. All right, we're ready to lose this. They only have one army? Hmm. Even then, we can't defend it. Maybe if we sent Drawing here, we could have held, but they would send more if Drawing was here, I guess. We have to take them down in bite-sized pieces and keep our army together. They're headed back. Okay. Interesting event. With the tribal disagreement with the Han population. Zhang Chao used to be a faction leader, yet no items on him. A little sad. Any chance you got unique units? No. Alright. We might lose pieces of Pingyuan. It's okay. We want to get our trade back online. That's why our income's down to 200. This should restore most of that. Uh, restore a little bit of that. We lost a trade. Ah, from the war, perhaps? Anyhow. We have the Han trade, right? We do. Okay, so we have the T. That's key. They bumped into us, but first things first... Zhao Dun left. The death of Cao Cao. Look at this faction. 
They lost. That, that army's just gone. Okay. The problem, though, is the oh, being wrong. Salzal kills him historically. I mean, he's 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 already dead historically. Um. Now I feel like I don't need him to be a spy. They have only one administrator. They made him the administrator. I can't flip it. That's their capital. This is the family member. Who's heir? I guess this is the wife. They they haven't had time to make heir yet. But this is this is not basically this is not gonna work out, so it's like I should like almost pull them back. There's there's spy defense going on too, I bet. Yeah, so let's see if we can first get this going, and then we'll We'll extract them. There's no need for civil war now. I feel like I can just extract Tal, and we can just see if anyone decides to show up in our recruitment pool from Tal Tal's faction. It's possible. That means it's not ambush. He's just gone. We just basically beat them through spy, espionage, assassination is all I took. Alright, we're gonna jump him together. Uh, I believe he was a rebel. He named himself Emperor and then Taotian killed him. No idea why he's in Taotian's faction for the game, because it just historically doesn't make sense there, but. Oh, this group we want to fight. I guess we want to come over here and get the regular flaming shot. Get night battle. You're not going to be part of the leadership group, unfortunately. Oh, I can't get him. Hmm. Do we want grandkids? Oh, well, we're poor. Sorry. At least I thought about you. He ran. Not going to be a lot of places to run soon. I'm actually going to ask him for peace. No, he's not willing. If he was willing, then we would just keep him alive and trade with him. He would generate more wealth than us taking over a farmland. He'd be a landlocked trade partner that only we can enjoy. We get a nice little buff. Oh, this is good too. <laughs> Let's get 10% replenishment first. The max level is 25, right? Because we saw someone at 25, this guy. Oh, 15. My bad. 15. Not 25. What am I talking about? So we still have four more levels to go. One, two, three, four. Oh, so basically we, we can't get one, maybe? Unless you get two points of 15 and we get everything, which would kind of make sense. We'll figure it out when that time comes. Uh, I'm sure he's building up something as long as we get supplies doesn't matter we don't need to be sitting in a settlement yeah there we go we can attack that i don't know if i can fight both but they will probably fight each other most likely now now we just jump him let's see who's gonna go with who i think we'll start offensive ambush as well it's not really an army. Mm. We'll keep ourselves healthy. We're going to reclaim our land first. We can drag them in. We'll come after Nobel afterwards. He has four full stacks. Will someone punish him down here? Oh, Cao Cao split. That's what happened. They auto civil ward and Xia Hodun went to the other side. They're following Tiankai. <laughs> Tiankai was, is an uh, official from over here, actually. <laughs> okay, they can have fun fighting each other. 
We are going to... I think we take this out first and we fight down this way. Makes more sense. We're gonna go here. We have more than 25% movement. Yes, we can. We'll drag Taotian's army in as well. I wanna check the map. It should be open field. No, it's not. Um... Hmm... A full range army? <laughs> a gunpowder! What? They're holding a crossbow, right? Okay, okay. It's like, do they have a gun? <laughs> okay, they just have grenades. They just have grenades. This one's still in a ship somehow. They're not. They, they, they landed already. Dayang veterans. Oh, Sun Qian. Oh, Su Fei. She's a nobody. He should be working for Liu Biao, I think. He was Gunning's friend. And he's the one who kind of helped Gunning, or he just, you know, didn't stop Gunning from switching sides. It definitely helped. And then. Ganyan pleaded for his life, and he eventually joined Wu as well, I believe. Sun Qian, Liu Bei's secretary, a former Taotian official, so he's in the right place. He is not in the right place, but whatever. They're all gonna... He's gonna die, he has no resiliency. Alright, so the strategy is just we aim our army at this incoming group. And we absolutely pound them. Actually, we don't even want them to have time. I believe the reinforcement comes, like, from this point to the right. Like, that's the edge of their setup. So, like, I think I can put these guys here and just give them that stock capability, activate it, and then just, like, leave them here. And they should just be able to do damage. And then we'll set up, like, a separate group here. And we'll... Actually, we'll just set these back here. We'll let them walk towards us this way or something like that. Hmm, not too far up. This is fine. And we'll sweep from the bottom side up. Oh, he has a general buff for the whole map. Kingmaker, indeed. Let's see if I remember correctly. Yeah, that's the edge. And then everyone's coming to the right of that. And everyone's gonna die. Oh, they're all range. Charge, 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 charge. They're gonna come out, but that's fine. We'll worry about that later. I wonder if their grenade would actually, like, stop us in our track. Might be possible. Come on, we're melee calves, but not like melee calf means very much with this mod. So we're not immune to, uh... Mm, even if we want to, we would be the one asking for it. And we would need to be like Kingmaker right next to that. Actually, no, we infinite range. So the health is, is still a concern, but it's fine. 
everyone's in range. We don't have to do too much. We can just pull it. Cycle charge would be better. Mm. Are they coming out or they're not? They are. It's more likely we have to deal with this group. Than the group in front of- Ooh, they're here. It's okay, I will ignore that. Ooh, what are we doing? You do charge here. You're gonna charge there. We're gonna charge there. You're gonna charge there. This is probably suicidal, but we need to stop them. Yeah, we're gonna leave that alone because our crossbow is gonna finish that one off. Yeah, he's gonna die. I'm trying to avoid our own spikes. Alright, looks like we can win this. No deep, no no issue. Can we shoot can we shoot can we shoot this one? No, stay here. Yep, Shampei won. Alright, we rearranged line in time for this. All good, all good. We can probably send our cavalry over too. Okay, so that's done. Shoot these. Uh, can we get out? Yeah, we're on the horse. Let's get out. Hold the line. Hold the line. Seed weapons pretty much done. Did we kill these yet? Nope, not yet. Finish that. Finish that. Switch targets. Switch targets. Switch targets. I will shoot these first. You're gonna have to help as well. I don't care if you guys are weak generals in this mod, but we need you to fight back. Charge. Side charge. Charge. Alright, we made it. We made it. Wait, where are we going? Oh, we were chasing someone. Okay, good. It's like, were we wasting our time? Army loss. Hmm, this one's still hanging in here. All, all of them are also still hanging in there. Okay, okay, we're gonna do a uh, flank charge. Yeah, they broke through the front line. We pulled too many units. They're too slow. Change modes. Mm, running into towers, but we probably have to take care of these units no matter what. Army loss should be coming. I think we got it. Uh, ah, reinforcements. It was nice having you guys, but we don't need you guys. Keep that army health healthy. They're going to be the ambush party, kind of keeping this area safe for a little bit. We purposely saved them more than 25% movement range to do that.
Because they can't move after taking the settlement. So we're stuck here. Ooh. Administrator of Donghai. I don't think he's special. Like, the game didn't make him special. Like, there's no special unit for him. Uh, he was with Huangzhou, so that was correct. Historically, that's correct. I don't know how he ended up over here. Um, I guess if we don't save Sun Xian, he's probably gonna die. We're gonna release both, actually. I'm gonna take the cash. They're still gonna be on the field. I don't think they die. Oh, she died. He's not... I mean, he's eventually going to be part of our Prime Minister role, I think. 10% movement, 5% replenishment. That's very good bonuses. Right now... Actually, yeah, we'll work towards that. He should be leading the army, shouldn't he, if he can get this... Fire arrows. We want him to have onyx dragons in the future. Can we get that next turn? I think we also kind of want to work on public order, though. Yes, I'm not sure if that's going to happen anytime soon. So this is not super urgent. We need this. Oh, wow. He is getting experience. That duel helped him a lot. He was only level 2, so... We don't have anything better for him. More damage, maybe? He has good bonuses. Alright, we're gonna ambush to protect them. These two are both weak and no longer a threat. This is still a threat. Does the fighting change any of Okay. I had enough. And honestly, we had enough of fighting with him. Now, does he have his father's items? I don't actually care. I can just pull him. I want to get his other family member as well, because she might be the one with Cao Cao's sword, because he's uh, it looks like a champion, right? So he's not going to have the sword. Wait, wait, wait. Become vassal. I can't vassalize this. Oh, he's in a civil war, right? So I cannot get that from him. This is also positive. We probably want a mix of both. Oh, he has a lot of cash. He also makes a ton. Even in this split state. Wow, I'm impressed with their finances. We're going to get paid handsomely here. Alright, Taotian, after we take out maybe one or two more armies, he should quit. Um, I think we'll end up Recalling him, and then we'll use the point to try to make her our spy as well, because I suspect she will have the items. And then we'll pull him eventually as well, and work on new spies. Sounds good. Um, which army has... I think we moved everyone. Yep. And we can use our money for our income. We got our extra slot. It's probably going to go for the land development at this point for now. We also would like the little bit of extra food. This will be pure income. We'll use neighboring corruption reduction method to get rid of it. Do we want to boost prestige this way? It's not close. Pingyuan might lose pieces, 
so we're not going to rush that. Bullhide is relatively safe, and we do want corruption reduction. This is going to help Taiwan's corruption reduction. Yeah, this is getting attacked. We don't have money to fix anything. It will slowly fix itself. We got hit with the event, and we never got cash to fix it. I think we'll continue to build this up. It'll allow us to upgrade this when we, the time comes. Alright, so the army setup is fine. Diplomacy is done. Let's see what happens. Let's see how crazy the Obelk gets. Because he could take... He could take more for sure. <laughs> what is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven armies in this area. I mean, we're going to smash all seven. That's for sure. They are sieging instead of taking, which is weird because this is a mine. This is not a settlement, so they don't have to do that. Yanshaw has an old man at his gate. Who's sieging? Are they gonna are they gonna fight each other? That would be great. We can ignore it. I don't need to worry about this actually. We'll be breaking that siege soon. Oh, Yuan Yao got Sima Lun's art. Interesting. Uh Yuan Shu is taking a bit too much. Not a fan of all this. 20. Four points. Six points. Bit of food. But the thing is, how do we get the other piece? It feels like I might as well go to war with him because everyone else is fighting him and no one really likes him. All right, we're going to move in and crush him starting next turn. We'll take all of this. Wipe out drawing. Okay, so this is a 2v1 type of situation. Not a fan. I could lose the settlement. I could just go wipe out Wang Kuang, which is probably the wise thing to do, and then fight down afterwards. Over here... Man, we got so many points of attack that people could come after us from. I can't hit him, but this is not a threat. I don't think he can take any settlements, even if I don't hit him. We're going to kill this group off, I guess. And then we'll wake. And then we'll set up an ambush after them, so that after they kill, we can... Yeah, I think that's the plan. We kill. Offensive ambush, this is what's happening. I do a simple kill. And then we become bait. Take money. We're going to appear weak to be bait. Actually, they can ambush too. Double ambush right here to lure them out. I don't think we need to kill this group. Keeping a weak army on the field is good. Right, we're going to have to creep up on this. I think we let them take this. This is not making us any cash. We don't need the food. We could use one less faction on the map. Not that this is an easy fight at all, but um, we should be fine. This will give us some closure, and then we fight down. They will have to keep one army at the farm once they take it, and they have to spread one more army thin, and then we can take them one at a time. What is up with this deployment? I mean, we do have Gorilla, but this is weird. And Gorilla deployment does not apply. I guess 
because we are recruiting on us is not it doesn't matter it doesn't matter it's because they have guerrilla deployment on the whole group and they don't so it's just the unit has it it's, it's fine That should be the the garrison plus the general, or is it just the general? I'm trying to figure that out. All these good boys are invisible, so we'll keep them to the side. Oh, the garrison's here, so that's just the uh, general. We can go smash them with the cavalry. Hmm, front line might feel actually. Yeah, we'll flank. Or else the front line will feel too much pressure. Oh. Ghost of the Woods. In the forest, morale's higher than 50. Increased bonus. Well, too bad he's not in the woods anymore. Forced him out to the open. What, the farmer spotted them? No, they're still invisible. Oh, they probably saw these guys. Oh, actually, what we need to do is do this. Now this entire front's invisible except for the two siege weapon plus red shell. That's not very accurate. Can we shoot here? Let's do some area shots. I mean, that lake is going to hamper this entire right flank to, like, kind of crowd in. Come on, now be good. Yeah, reload time is pretty long. All right, I'm not gonna micro that anymore. Time to smash their range units. We'll only hit the unprotected ones. Okay, we're all going here. Keep looking for openings. Should have probably waited till they get into- Oh, they are in our crossbow range. Okay. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Peel. Peel, 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 peel. peel. It's not worth staying in this combat. Peel back, peel back, use our speed. Spread out. Sending more help. It's okay, we're doing our damage. Can we peel? Here, help with that. Keep moving into that. Can we charge out? Give that a charge command, please. All right, they took that out. Help them out. Actually, both of them have the secret 
That he's a captain. He should go fight. Uh, they all have a lot of friendship buffs, so I actually don't really want to kill them. Okay, we can peel now. We kill the range over here. Get out, get out, get out. Kill the range, kill this. Flank charge into there. Just re reset this group. We're fine. Chase that. Go back, go back. They have a couple new range, but that's a lot less than what we were dealing with. Time for our actual frontline to do the frontline job. Who's in the wedge? Get out of it. Go out. Uh, why you gotta be so annoying? Alright, we're gonna hurt him. And we're gonna loop around, try to hit these. Come back out. Mm, but there's a spear you're never right behind. We don't want to fight that. Go back. We can dive over here, actually. These are all swords. Actually, focus on that. Focus over here. Keep peeling. charge through this clump. Flank. And we're kind of out of ammo back here. Shoot that one. Yeah, having a general route would be the best option for us. I'm gonna go give them some morale boost. Just encourage time. That's not a good position for us. We need to try to kill this quickly. I'm gonna stand around here. It's actually good for them to all die off, because it'd be just two turn full mustering right after. Okay, flank that, chase that down. I don't want to help them flank. This is just a bad situation, but I don't think we have a very good option here. Let's move up, kind of blocking the... Oh, come back, come back, come back. Alright, peel this off. Hold on, let's get out to here. Warm. Charge. Alright, you can finish that off. Just join the fight. Alright, we don't want to kill Daniel. He has relationship with them as well. So we keep hitting that spot.
Alright, they finally broke this side. Cavalry. Can we all just peel them? And then we flank here. Let's try to get this guy out. Looks like he's dismounted. Oh, I don't want to fight this. Move, 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 move. We still have this huge clump. We're fine. Hit that. Why oh, do they have so much morale? We barely have any of them. We, we should get a few of them killed. We don't want to keep like one guy left. Alright, suicide charge. Alright, he's low. We're just gonna wait for army loss then. We're gonna try to shoot at the units and then wait for army loss. Is that routed or is it not routed? Let's keep some damage on there. Woo! Alright. Wang Quan is destroyed. Uh, maybe not. Maybe that lady reinforcement is still on the field. This group. But, um... They're pretty much dusted. Heavy, heavy losses on our ca cavalry. It'll take us two turns to get these back. We might not have two turns, but we can still move. Because it's not a mustering effect. Once they get to two turns, they just pop back to full. We could also spend the lineage, which I think here would make a lot of sense, actually. Alright, so that's a good save point for us. Uh, we still have a big mess with Liu Belt to take care of, but we're going to be trapping them. I think we can take out one stack, then it's a 2v2 situation over here. Sure, they have two more in the river, but let's not think about that. Over here, they're chasing us. One will take this, one will continue to chase most likely. If not, we'll get some breathing room to get this army back and ready. And we should be able to fight 1v2 without too many problems. Over here, we're going to declare war on our brother very soon. Take the rest of Hedong, pop out over here, and then rejoin the fight. This will take some time. Uh, if we can get some cash, which is... Not always the case. Uh, we will be able to... I mean, we lost some income here. We lost some income here. So it's a tough winter month for us. And we have a trade suspended as well uh, with the High Empire, which is killing our tea. That's not us. That's on the High Empire. They have something going on with their capital, I think. Oh, it's... Yeah. Well, actually, no. It's not them. It's us. I have the port. What is going on? Hmm. Well, our port can... Yeah, it's not us. Our port works. I can get the trade from far, far away. We will get a trade from far, far away. We need to get some trades to keep our economy afloat. And we'll continue from here next time. So until then, bye.